Jess. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is having an amazing day so far. In today's video, I am showing you guys my everyday makeup routine and my go-to hairstyle. So basically this is just a get ready with me. So if you guys wanna see how I do this makeup look, which is the look that I wear pretty much every single day and how I style my hair, keep on watching. I do have something exciting to share with you guys. I am going to VidCon. So if you guys are gonna be there, come say hi. If you see me, say hi. I'm gonna be teaching a workshop on editing and vlogging on the go. So basically I'm gonna be sharing a bunch of uh, vlogging tips and tricks, things that I wish I knew when I first started YouTube. And I'm gonna be sharing you guys how to edit your videos very easily and how to make them aesthetic and cool and all that jazz. Just wanted to let you guys know. And the last thing is if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button down below to join the family. And with that, let's hop right on in. I look partially undead right now. My under eye circles are gnarly. I have not slept very well in the last like week, week and a half. So my under eye circles have just been like a deep, dark, sunken in. It's like the ocean over here. So I cannot wait to get some concealer on these bad boys. First things first, I'm going to be doing my hair. I'm just gonna do my like everyday go-to kind of loose wavy curls. Something super exciting about today's video is that it is sponsored by Numi and I'm so jazzed to be working with them because if you guys watch my channel and you've seen like my styling videos or ones where I've like showed you guys how I curl my hair, you guys know how much I love Numi and they are literally the only hot tools brand that I use. They were also super kind enough to give me a promo code to share with you guys. So if you use the code Jessica and get 25% off site-wide on any of the hot tools or their products or whatever. So make sure you use that. Don't forget, Jessica, it's my name. The first thing I'm doing is using the Numi Watch Me Work Thermal Heat Protectant. My hair is really prone to damage and like my hair's natural texture is very dry and frizzy. If you just look at any of the pictures of me as a kid, like I just have the worst, like driest, not great hair. And then when I got into middle school, when straightening your hair was super popular and trendy, it took an even worse turn for the worst that doesn't even make sense. Now my hair is like super healthy and thick and shiny and lustrous. And it's because I take really good care of it. And I make sure to take steps like using heat protectants. Usually the curling wand I use is this guy. It's, what barrel is this? Like an inch, an inch and a half? I don't know, this is the usual barrel I use. But the one I'm using today is called the Octo Wand and it is so cool. It's efficient, it's great for travel. And I'm like very, very impressed by it. This is what the curling wand comes in. It's very sleek, very efficient. And inside, you have eight curling barrels and the base. You also get a nice heat protecting glove, which is amazing for people like me, who are just like very clumsy, prone to accidents, burn their knuckles a lot. I do that probably about every other time I curl my hair. Even though I curl my hair so often, I still do it. So having a glove is always handy. I think I'm just gonna go with this barrel. It's a very like nice medium size. You plug the barrel into the base and you give a nice like little push down, make sure it's firmly in there and then you just lock it into place and you just let it heat up. So the really cool thing about these wands is they heat up super quick. You don't have to wait eons for it to get warm. In the limited time that I have, I'm going to just really quickly apply some moisturizer and some lip balm. This moisturizer is amazing, guys. It feels very thick and rich, but it doesn't feel like cakey. You know how sometimes like moisturizers feel like very clumpy and too thick? This is not like this. This is just very like luscious and rich and it just really melts into the skin. And then my lip balm is the one that I have been using for months and months and months. I love it. It is the Smith's Rosebud Solve. I always separate my hair into layers when I curl my hair. So I usually do a bottom layer, a mid layer, and then a very top layer. The way I curl my hair is I do one piece away from my face. Ooh, she's cute. And then one piece towards my face. So I alternate the curl directions because it prevents your hair from going all in just like one big curl and kind of like chunking up at the ends. So I decided to skip right to the top layer because that is the most visible. Start off right at this front piece, this front piece. For the top layer, I like to go with probably about this much hair each time. It's a pretty small amount of hair just because I like the top of the hair to be very like full and voluminous. One thing I really like about Numi's tools is you don't have to hold the curl super long. You just hold it for a couple seconds and you get like a beautiful bouncy curl. It also defrizzes my hair because my hair, like I said earlier, is very like prone to frizz and naturally frizzy. Ooh, cute! I love this wand. This uh, Numi has like the best hot tools. Like seriously guys, you have to try them out because they are so great. They curl so quick. I haven't talked about this yet, but when I let go of a curl, 
I always let it hold in my hand for just a second or two until it cools down because I find that when I let it go right away, the like weight of the curl kind of pulls out the curl a little bit. But when you hold it in your hand until it's cool, it kind of allows it to hold that like firm, uh, curly shape really well. Doing that one little trick helps your curls last even longer. So if you're trying to maintain your hairstyle for like two or three days, maybe even longer, that trick will help you out immensely. Now that my hair is all styled, I have a couple things left to do before it's like finished, finished. So I take one of these little bristle brush and I brush through the top layer of my hair to smooth everything out. This is before I brushed it and this is after. I don't like to pull too hard because I don't want to accidentally like brush out a curl. The last thing I do is I just put on some finishing spray. So this is the Numi Freeze Please finishing spray. Just kind of holds everything into place all while making it just look nice and shiny and not making it like crunchy. I hate crunchy hairsprays. It's just all bad. So now I'm going to jump into my makeup. So to keep my hair off my face while I'm doing my makeup, I use those same alligator clips from earlier. And I make sure to clip the hair in a little curl bend to ensure that my hair is not gonna like crease in a weird way. It's already just in one of the little loopy locks from the curl. My face is already moisturized, so I'm gonna move in with my primer. I've been using this for probably about maybe three or four months now. Now that I've been using it for like three months, I think my consensus is I don't love it. And let me know in the comment section if I'm using it wrong, because I could be. I used to really love the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, but then I went on this whole foundation journey where I was like, I'm gonna try all these different foundations and find another one that I really love. And since then, I just haven't found one. So far, this one's the closest. It's a drugstore one. I think it's like less than $10. Just applying concealer. Uh, this is one from Target. It is the, oh, it's in Spanish, Gai para mi concealer. So I picked this up on a whim a couple weeks ago because I had not seen that brand and I thought it seemed like a really neat brand. You know, it's a good product, it's a good drugstore. It is finally summer here in Los Angeles and I'm so, so happy about it because for the last like three weeks prior, two or three weeks prior, we had so much June gloom, but now the sun has finally come back out. It is now like 90 degrees, which I love. I like when it's hot. And I know a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, Jessica, you are crazy. 90 degrees, how could you? But like, that is my jam. I am a true Californian. I love a good spicy 90 degrees. And I'm also gonna just apply some of this remaining concealer to my eyelids so I can use that as an eyeshadow base. Now I'm gonna set things with the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. I love having a cat, but her hair gets on everything. I always have to double check my beauty blender to make sure there's no like cat hair that I'm about to bake into my face. I like to set under my eyes and then I like to set my chin because that always gets super oily. Then to mattify the rest of my face, I am using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte uh, Pressed Powder. And this one is just the matching powder to my foundation. Now I'm going to contour my face. This bronzer is a ride or die. It is my favorite. I love the product. I love the consistency. I love the smell. And I just find it to be just Perfect. Now I don't feel like doing my blush yet, so I'm gonna go on to my eyeshadow that I should have done earlier, but I hadn't done, and now I'm going to do. So I think today I'm gonna use the Naked Reloaded palette because I want a pinky eye look. This color on my eyelid, and then this color in my crease, and then this color in my outer corner. So I'm gonna go for a very kind of like pinky warm eye look, and this is pretty typical for what I usually wear on my eyes. So while I'm just like blending everything and making things look not so wild, Let's talk about something fun. So many of you guys reach out to me and tell me that you wanna be a YouTuber, but you're just like waiting for like a piece of equipment or you're waiting until this or that, or like maybe you're afraid. I completely get that. My advice for people who want to do something, especially if it's being uh, a content creator, a YouTuber, an influencer, a photographer, anything where it's entrepreneurial and you're putting yourself out there, I say just go for it. Like go full force and just try. Stop waiting for like this to be perfect or that to be perfect. Things are never going to be perfect. There is never like a perfect time or right time and waiting for, you know, this or that to happen is just going to prolong you from getting to where you want to be. There is never a better time to do things than right now. And you know, sometimes things might not work out how you anticipate and that's just life and that is okay because even when things don't work out exactly how you wanted them to, they always work out in another way. You at least grow from that experience. You learn and when you learn and you grow, you become better. There is no way to become better and grow without failing. You have to fail to grow. You have to fail to succeed. You cannot learn from your mistakes until you make those mistakes. As for what I'm currently doing with my makeup, I'm using this NYX brow gel 
and I love this stuff because it's a very subtle yet effective thing for my brows. My eyebrows are black and it's very hard to find products that actually look good and don't make them too dark. So now I'm gonna apply blush. I have been loving the Glossier Cloud Paint and this is in the shade Beam. What I do to get it to apply very like naturally and very pretty without pulling the rest of my makeup off or being like cakey or whatever is I apply a little dollop to my hand. Do do a dollop a daisy. I just take a little bit of that big dollop, make its own separate dollop, soak it all up in the beauty blender and then bounce it around to distribute the product. It works, I like how it looks. I've gotten a lot of compliments on this blush. When I apply the blush, I'm using a very light hand and I'm not pulling, I'm not dragging, I'm not pressing down really hard because I find that when I have done that, it messes up my makeup underneath and it makes it look all crazy. Now I'm gonna do my winged eyeliner and I'm using the Physicians Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum. This is as good as it's going to get for my eyeliner right now. I'm sorry if they're not perfect, but like, it's just, it's just not working out right now, so. We're just gonna pretend it's perfect and um, move on. The Marc Jacobs Glow Spotlight Glow Stick. I've been using this forever. Just dab some onto my beauty blender and I dot some on my nose. Ooh, check that glow out, it's so cute. Moving on to curling my lashes to apply mascara. I love this one, it makes my eyelashes look so long and full. And then the lipstick that I always wear that you guys are always like, girl, what lipstick are you wearing? Is the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in the shade Off Script Matte. This one is just the prettiest like pinkish red. Face is done. Let's take down these little hair clippies and take a gander at this final look. I really dig how my look turned out today. I think this is so gosh darn cute. Like. This is like some of the cutest hair I have done in a while. I am feeling myself. For a while, I was not sure if the makeup would turn out right because I was like, mm, I don't know, it's not looking so great. But you know, it has all tied together. I really like it. Some really quick FAQ questions that I always get from you guys. I curl my hair once a week. The curls last probably about three to five days, depending on how well I maintain it. If you guys wanna check out my video on how I make my hairstyles last longer, I'll link that below. Again, a huge thank you to Nui for sponsoring today's video. Use the code Jessica for 25% off on their entire site from you know their products like their finishing spray and their heat protectant to their actual tools. And yeah, I think the only thing that we have left for today is my quote of the day segment. And today's quote of the day says, remember how far you've come, not just how far you have to go. You are not where you want to be but neither are you where you used to be. So think on that as we go into the week. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you guys so much, and I will see you on the next video. Bye how the wrong things always seem right, but never mind on the clean night. I can't go cool. Watch them pole vault over dark skies as exercise. I told y'all, don't be a menace. You ain't low, dog. My flow alls on them nightly shows. Time broke off. I quote stars every day. Planet, COVID, Raven. I'm ahead, floating. Hoping defeat doesn't connect to my body of work. The times I 